and welcome to day six of our design team week here at Dear Julie. Julie, today we are featuring April and Vanessa. So after we see a couple of embellishments that I'm going to make, we will come back and I will tell you a little bit more about April and a little bit more about Vanessa that they shared with us and share their October projects with you. Remember, all the design team digitals, all the digitals that they use this week are on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop, and that is through Monday, the 23rd. So check that out, 30% off those digitals. Now let's get to making those embellishments, and we'll be back to see April and Vanessa and their projects after that. Hi everybody, it's Julie and we have made the journal. Now we need to make our 11 fall harvest items. And so remember the other day on our Friday freebie, we did make, what do we have? We have a hidden pocket or a hidden journaling card. And this is on a little flip thing. And we have our fabric flip that we're gonna be putting in there. And we have our large trifold tag. Okay, and I've marked those off. So that's, and then um, this was our any card stock pocket. And so again, using the Friday freebie, we did those. Um, okay, so we are gonna start with our any one thing. And our any one thing is, is this, it's that. And I'm looking to see what I have that we can, ooh. I think it will be really kind of cool on this, um, on here. And then it can be added to a page inside. I actually thought about, I was like, I pulled it out and thought, oh, we should put this on the cover. And then I went, oh yeah, no, we can't. We got to use it for our embellishment. I'm saving this for my Shelly girl. So, um, Yeah. And I have the beaver saved for another, another thing. So these are uh, Chow Bella, the rice paper. And the other one for the fabric or for the page um, ensemble, I used a, I put it on fabric and made a fabric flip out of it. Okay, so here we're going to make a a tip in and it's going to have a pocket okay so remember i switched my tip in um that i was making i made it into a hidden journaling card okay so i think that'll be really pretty on here and it's going to make a great tip in okay now, I think I'm going to tip this in from the bottom just to make it something different. Okay, so the tip in is going to go here. So it's going to, it's going to need a, um, a paper clip to hold it up. And I'm okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and add that right on there. And then we put Shelly's horse up there. We have some of the lace. I think I'm going to put it down on the bottom. Okay, so some of the, the lace. So, um, We'll be doing some embellishments with the 
or we will we will have done some more embellishments on Friday with the on the with the freebie again this week and um, so when you see this we will have made those also because I am I'm trying to get ahead on my uh, my videos because I, I have other things that I'm supposed to be doing okay so and they it is a little bit more difficult the week that I have um, the design team I'm gonna go ahead and add a piece of this washi to this side And a piece down here to this side. Been using a little bit of the washi throughout the journal. Okay, so another thing that we've been using, of course, is um, well, I'm going to use this as a little card in the journal, I think. Um, let's see, we've been using some stickers. This one has like a mushroom on it. I kind of like that. I think we'll add that. Kind of be like a little label because you'll be able to, if I can get it undone, you'll be able to uh, write like a title or something on there. in a little bit okay so there's that little label and I think we'll add we'll add the music also okay so remember you need to add three things to decorate your embellishment okay so I'm making the embellishments and my next step will be to add them in now you can go ahead and add them in as you're making them. Um, but, you know, the way that it says in the directions is you make them and then you add them in. But you can, you can do it that way. Okay? So, yeah. I really like this. I, I think this is going to be cool. Of course, we're going to need something for inside there. Um, but this will be a tip-in. Okay, so hooray, using our any one thing, tip in. Remember, you can only make one of each thing. So we have a hidden journaling card, a large tag, a tip in, a pocket, and a fabric flip. Okay, so um, next, I want to make, um, oh, that was our any one thing. So now I've got to use, let's see, and I can go ahead and mark that off so I'm not, keep, don't keep looking at it. Okay, so um, with, my, with my hoarded item here, I am going to make a top tuck. And I am going to go ahead and... Flip this up, but I I really want to see that. Okay, so I'm gonna come over here and cut cut some of this. And fold it up. We'll line it up over here on this side. use this for something else. I want there to be a little bit of a pocket. So this is going to be a top tuck. Um, okay. I'm going to go ahead and glue this side and glue this side. 
This is my permanent. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and rip. So this is my, I think I said it, my hoarded item. So it's going to be a top, top tuck. It's going to have that extra pocket on the top. Okay. So it'll go into the journal up at the top like this. And then something can come in like this okay so that is going to be my top tuck and this is what i'm going to put in it probably okay now um looking for digital and see what i've got so I have this piece of fabric. I have these digitals and I have these digitals. Okay. And this is a one of the cards. Okay, I'm thinking. Some some fabric. And you could do, I mean, I could already have this ready and make like a little clustery thing and already have it ready, but I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and rip around the mushroom. Okay, there's the mushroom. Mushroom. There's a line up here. Okay. Okay, I've got a couple of. Oh, I've got this with the mushroom on it, like we just used. I have one with butterflies also. That might be kind of cool. I have this. Kind of like that. Okay, so just make it so that you can't see the the words because I really didn't do any words on this journal. Okay. I'm trying to get the gobbledy glue to move out of the way so that the glue can come out. Okay, I'm just going to do the top. Okay, put that down. Put it right, right in the middle. Or not the middle. <laughs> to this side. I'm going to co cover over all those Sylvia's. There, now it's coming out a little bit. This is going to be paper to paper, so. Okay, Sylvia's. Okay. And then we'll do the, the butterflies. Okay, so this is going to give us a top tuck. And we did embellish it or enhance it with at least three things. And um, could add ink also. <laughs> I 
I really like that um, that edge though. There we go. Yeah, it says forest. Okay, so that'll be a top tuck and it'll be able to go on the page like this. And then, like I said, I'll probably put some of that note paper going up inside of it. Possibly even one of the one the note papers with the bird. But there is my top tuck, and it is on my hoarded item, which is the um, Edith Holden. So let's go to that and put an E. That means it's an embellishment. So I have rubber stamps, envelopes, stencils, lace, and leftover paper scraps left. So we have two more of our beautiful design team members that have put together items and so um, just wanted to recap we did our, our little tip in using our any one thing okay so a tip in using our any one thing and then uh, using our Edith Holden hoarded item I made a top tuck and it will have a little pocket on it okay and you guys, I'm going to write top tuck on the back because um, I don't want to forget and put a pocket in there because, you know, it could happen. <laughs> okay, so let's check out today's design team members and their projects. Well, it's our last day of October design team week. We have April. We have Vanessa, and we are going to show Jenna Lee's project today also. So first, a little bit about April, and we'll show you her picture of her project. As a traveling nurse, there was never room beyond a table, and I had to dig through boxes. Now that I have signed a longer contract, we decided to rent a place and let the RV rest. Now I have a large room and it's a dream. What I love is all the room and the beautiful view of the forest. What I don't love so much is I now don't have a guest bedroom. <laughs> it's all about choices, right? All about choices. So last month, April used the Beach Beauties digital kit to make her um, project and she made a beautiful journal and this month she has made a journal using the dear julie julie peacocks digital i don't have any other pictures other than this one here um but the journal is gorgeous and you will be able to find the video in the description box down below and go on over and see the beautiful creation that April made for our for October. I am really excited. Um so and it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So remember that the digitals are all on sale that the design team has used. So that includes the Peacock Kit. And the Peacock Kit has um, vintage, antique, and it also has actual pictures of um, of peacocks from my, my, my friend. <laughs> so next we have Vanessa and she made, she had the, um, Santa and Mrs. Claus and she made a beautiful large, uh, card, a large Christmas card. And so, um, and it has, it has things going on on the inside. So you can go to her, project and check that out and see 
how she did her card. It's beautiful. And so that is Vanessa. So um, one more today because my printer, <laughs> it, was, it was not talking to me. And so, um, so we also have Jenna Lee and I'm going to show you her pictures right now. Here we are. And Jenna Lee made a box. Okay. She didn't cover a box. She made a box. And so this is from the fall flora and fauna digital kit. Um, she made a cover up here um, and added some doilies and the postcard. Okay. And this is the other end. Okay. But she made a box and you've got to go and check it out. It is really cool. Um, for those of us that need gift boxes or an extra little storage goodie, um, what she did <laughs> is really really cool so check it out i'm excited that she she did it with a dear julie julie digital and so yeah so that is jenna lee's october project and remember i showed you yesterday that she did the halloween book the halloween journal um for her september project. So um, I'm sorry, Jenna Lee, that your pictures were not ready for um, yesterday's live video. I was really struggling. As a matter of fact, it's almost five o'clock and I just got your pictures to print. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been quite a day. Okay, so um, very good. So that wraps up our October design team uh, week and so our final two were April and Vanessa you can find their social media information in the description box down below as well as the links to their October project videos Okay, so I hope you'll just run right over there and check those out. Make sure that you give them a thumbs up. Please comment on their videos and um, thank them for, for being a part of Design Team Week. I'm pretty excited. I've already started handing out the November kits for them and even a December. So <laughs> um, some of them are moving quickly. And um, yeah, so... It was a great, great week, and I really want to thank you all for hanging out for the whole week and um, for supporting our design team members, and so, yeah, so happy Saturday. Uh, the digitals are on sale in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop, the ones that they used, so there's... Um, there's quite a there I think there's like ten that are um no there's twelve thirteen thirteen fourteen maybe fifteen <laughs> digitals on sale and they're on sale in the dear Julie Julie Etsy shop and you will be able to download them and use them right away okay thank you guys again so much for being here find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.